Welcome to Instructor Live. I'm Beth. Thank you for tuning in once again. This is our second session, yes, of Ballet Tech. So if you missed last week's, take a look at our archives and you can catch up there. This is for those of you that really enjoy some dance, bringing some expression to your movement. It's also incredibly toning and conditioning for the body. So we'll be looking a lot at core work, bringing length into the legs and also throughout the upper body here, really opening the chest and lengthening out through the arms as well. So it's fantastic. Even if you haven't been to a dance class before, but you enjoy um, the way a dancer's body looks, yeah, you can have that as well. For those of you at home who have done a little bit of dance before, this is a great place for you to be. This means that you can um, bring back those memories of dancing, maybe in your younger days when you were at school, or maybe you carried on to another level, or maybe you are a professional dancer and you're looking to do some practice at home. You can explore your creativity here. The class itself is quite simple, but is challenging, and I will be building on things every week. So last week we looked at the basic structure of a ballet class. We began on the floor, gently lengthening through the sides of the spine and, and waking up uh, the joints, bringing some synovial fluid back into the joints. Yeah? And then we moved on to some core work where we were lying down, which might look Pilates-esque for you, that was working on conditioning from the centre all the way through the legs and sometimes through the arms as well. And then we brought everything that we felt from the floor up to the bar and looked at more classical ways of moving. We went through our first position, our second position. Yeah, we had our fourth position in here, and sometimes fifth, if you have danced before, this will be quite easy for you. If you haven't, there's the option of a third position, which is a little um, easier. Yeah, and we looked at the different rhythms that come within a ballet class, um, working on the articulation of the muscles within the legs and also within the feet. And then we warmed down, we did some deep stretches. Yeah, so there's lots in there. Like I say, our, our session from last week is stored on the archives as well, so please know that we build. Um, don't become overwhelmed with everything. I'm giving you lots of information, and if just a little bit sinks through and then you can come back and use the classes before next week, you can get even more out of it. But you go at your pace. Yeah, it's suitable for everyone. I have some ballet shoes because I used to dance professionally, and you may have some left over as well, but if you don't, it's not necessary. You can just have some socks. Yeah? The socks that are, that are really good are the ones <laughs> the kind of cheapy ones, they're a little bit slidey. Yeah, you want those. And the trainer socks I find are really nice because you can fold them halfway down so your heel is exposed and you've got the rest of it around the upper part of the foot. It's nice if you've got a wood floor or a tile floor where you can slide a little bit. That's really lovely. And you can work on gently um, pressing down at certain points and squeezing the legs together so you have some resistance training there, gently conditioning the inside of the thighs and the pelvic floor and core muscles. Okay? Carpet is not ideal, though it, though it is possible. Um, if you have any MDMF or uh, is it chipboard handy that you might have in the shed or left over from um, building your kitchen as such, then having that underneath you and standing on that and using that as a nice solid base, if you do have carpet, is a great thing as well. So you can get that ready for next week or maybe you just have some lying around. Yeah coincidental. Mm -hmm. You're also going to need a chair, yeah, quite a steady one that can bear some of your weight if you lean on it, especially when we do things on one leg, you might find that you need that extra support if this is new for you, okay? One other thing as well is a TheraBand, yeah, T-H-E-R-A, and these TheraBands that you might have seen in a uh, Pilates class provide a little bit of resistance. And you can get these from a website, online website called Dance Direct UK. They do all dance wear, leotards, footwear, um, TheraBands. So they're really cheap and they all get sent to your house as well. They're a UK company. Or if you're outside of the UK, I'm sure you have somewhere else if you go online. These TheraBands are really fantastic. If you don't have one today, that's absolutely fine. You can use a towel as well. I'm going to show you how you can use that instead. But you can get a really long TheraBand like this that I've tied up that you can use to stretch the entire body. Yeah? For instance, if I was um, out here, yeah, I could practice gently squeezing in and keeping the arm up. Yeah, lots, lots of things you can do with that. You can get really creative and you can have two legs inside here and you can have this around the back and you stretch. Yeah, lots of fun things to do. And there's also just a normal size length one here which you can use and I'll be showing you what to do with that or you'll be having a towel. So I'm going to give you a second to grab a little towel or a long towel if you've got one of those. <coughs> 